Oh, do you know what the Wi-Fi code is? Uh, yeah, on the fill you guess, it's uh, it's just the password. Just the username and password is both fill you guess, all lowercase. Fill you guess. Yeah, fill uh, you guess. Yep. yep. I... No, I think I know what I did. Hello, Adriana, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hello. Check, check one. Check one, two. Check, check. Check one. I'll get you a clicker too. I would just put something here so, just, so you don't tell. Close, you close it then it's right. then it's yeah. Okay, got you. So, so, sorry that there's cords in the way everywhere. No, no, no. Put in a thought. Can you give me one of Mrs. Olmot or Lori Olmot? 
Oh, you know what? There is one. I have one out there. You're right. Um, is he reading? Yes. Going back to the desk. You got the main text printed out? What did you say? You got the main text printed out? I didn't hear what you said. The printed main text? You got it? The printed main text for? The guest. Mrs. Przybilski has them outside. You got any, like, you got them worked yesterday? And then I printed out, yeah, yeah. Then I printed the last one out on the wrong sheet, because we got it to go. Thank you, though, for all of that. You're welcome. And okay, here's the ink tags. Everybody has one. Oh, can you put that back in a red and white polka dot bag back there? Just put it back there. Okay. Good on, it's good on there, it's just uh, on there it's weird. It, it freezes on here, but... Okay. I just don't know where the camera is. You can view here. Yeah, the other one's good. So if you want to set up the camera, mm -hmm. just go to the OBS thing. The one, oh, okay. And that's, that's, for, that's like, there's no... Okay, awesome. Thank you. Floor! 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 This one kind of works now. Okay. So they can use this and they can hear it. So you don't have to talk okay. to it. But just kind of. So I think that's the. Here. Do you think this is the best that we can do with the camera, or can I? Can I you, can't take it back anymore. Can you so sold it a little that? bit. Yeah. Can you see most of the screen on you? I can see. It's kind of on a slant, so it's not a great view of the screen. Could you pull it that way? It doesn't. Oh, it and I want to get the box in it too. A little bit. No, 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 the right. A little bit down. I mean, oh. Yeah, perfect. Uh, a little bit up. It's like. No, yeah, you're, you're not going to get. Why don't you switch? Stop, 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 uh, go, let me see, okay, stop, let me just see where you are, the light's in it, can you bring it forward? <laughs> that was great, that was a great picture. Her mom's watching. Her mom's watching. Oh. Yay! Hi! Um, okay, just slowly move it to that way. Slowly move it Now the other way, that's not the right way. <laughs> Keep slightly, like, rotate the whole thing. Rota yeah, like that, what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Do we have it? Now, stop. Okay, can you pull it back a little bit? Do we have the speaker on the microphone? Yes. Right there, one, two, three. I think what we're going to do is to give you some... I'm going to put an X on the floor where to stand, because then we can see you, hear you, and get the screen in. We're not going to be able to get all that in. Do we have the microphone? I really like it. That makes it sound like... deal with that today. No, we have to use the microphone today. Maybe that. Maybe it's that. Can we shut that? Trust me, don't do it. I'm touching stuff. No, other way, other way, other way, other way. Are you trying to get it? Keep going. That's all it shows. Can I make it brighter? Yes. Do it by hand. All right. This this will do. So I'm gonna put an X on here. Um, sophomores. What you say? I'm gonna have you use this, okay? And then you guys can step back and forth, okay? 
Yes, this will let you. This will let you be able to move around a little bit, and we can. It'll. You I'm have. Right there, you so can go can, like all the way over here and talk. You can go halfway. Sophomore, so you guys come over here, please. Say <laughs> cheek. I think we're just gonna leave it like this, Lord. Can you look at it and just see it? Okay, guys. So what yeah, that we'll looks, do is that looks great. the way that the camera's set up. See, we have we had to kind of do our best <laughs> to get so all this up super running. You can't so shut this, too. okay? So what I'm gonna need to, you guys to do is I'm gonna put an X on the floor where the like where a good spot would be to talk, okay? You can go, if you want to move, if you feel comfortable moving, don't go crazy, but if you feel comfortable, you can go halfway over and they'll still see you, okay? And right. not, maybe not yeah. even that far, a little bit before that, like right where Miss Ruskin is, that's as I'll far put, as you I'll can go. I'll put a mark on the floor office. for you guys, where you can move in between, okay? And then, when you move the mic, guys listen, when you move the mic, it sounds like this, so gently hand the mic off to somebody else because it sounds really loud to people. Um, and let's see. So you can pass the mic. You can pass the mic now. Yeah. And so, but line up the same as you would. It's just you're going to pass the mic now. Okay. So now we have the same. Yeah. Oh. Ah. You're good. Bring it up. Keep it right where it is. Is it? It's over Yeah. No, it's facing you guys and facing your the screen. Oh yeah. Hold on. Yeah. You can use the clicker. Oh. Okay. Is there going to be a dull clicker for the whole team? Just like whatever you need it, or? Do you want? How about I'll be the clicker for you guys? I'll do it. I won't have to stand there. I can just give me the knot. So if you, when you guys need me to move it to the next one. Just give me the nod, okay? I'll do it for you guys so you don't have to worry about it, okay? MTV is going first. Oh, oh. starting us off. And then, um, and then you guys are going to go to, what would you say? Sophomores are going first. Yes. Yeah. Mercy, oh, I want, this is like okay. I got an attitude. Uh, my name's Tacori. No, my 
my name is Jennifer. Wait, you just talk, talk, just say my name. Oh, yeah, okay. my name is Jennifer. And, and we're, we're Team MTV. MTV. We're Team Tackle and Violence. Yes. Team MTV. Who started this? Team MTV met a girl from the Christian Academy who liked to release her anger and negative ways, such as fighting. So we wanted to come up with a... Uh, we wanted to come up with an idea. Wait, away. We wanted to come, we wanted to come up with a way which she could release her stress to her and negative energy and a you guys can have a seat right now. I'm oh, sure. yeah. Go on, have a seat in the front. In the front. In front. Good morning, everyone. Yes. If our guests could please find their way to the seats in the middle, that would be great. We're going to try to get started. She's got a chicken mustard. 
Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being with here, this, being with us here this morning. Um, we have a wonderful group of sophomore and junior business students from Mercy Career Technical High School here with us today to show you all their wonderful ideas about how they would like to positively impact their community. And we are so grateful for the partnership with Philadelphia University. Um, they are supporting us in every way imaginable with professors who volunteer to come, work study students, um, strategic design, MBA program coaches. Um, we are just so fortunate for all of the support that we have. Um, I'm Mary Rusky, and this is Lori Almont. We co-teach together, and we're cousins, so we do a lot together. Um, <laughs> But uh, thank you for being here. And just to get started, um, for those of you who were not here last year, our current juniors were posed with a question about how they could impact their community in a positive way. And they came up with homelessness last year. And that was the issue that they focused on. And they came up with some really powerful um, solutions towards that. This year, our sophomore class came up with a different direction. And that was, how might we redirect the path towards violence for at-risk preteens in Philadelphia. That was what they felt passionate about. This isn't something that we gave them. They came up with this on their own. And we are fortunate enough to have wonderful co-facilitators, Lee Kim and Michael Glass, who have corporate knowledge of using design thinking. And we have been introduced to design thinking through our grad school program at Drexel in the education world. So we thought, how can we bring those two things together? And we had visited Pfizer before in New York at the um, global headquarters to visit Michael for many years. And he had been telling us about the projects that people have been working on. And he said, all right, I have this crazy idea. Would you be willing to maybe see if we can join forces and see what this looks like in the classroom? And it really turned out fantastic. So as you can see here, this is a problem solving process that we use. And the difference between the project-based learning that we had done in previous years was that we really connected the students to the causes that they care about. We took the time to have them observe, to interview, to really dig deeper about what their needs were and not just do some research on the internet and put together a presentation and say, oh, this would be great if they did this and just offer a solution for them without finding out what they really needed. So as Mary said, we have wonderful students. Both sophomore, obviously. Um, we have wonderful students, both sophomore and juniors. And um, what we wanted to do is we wanted to share them with their, our community. And it was so fortunate that we did make those connections with Michael and Lee, and they were able to help us bring the design thinking so that we were able to teach them to really connect with the community. So we're connecting them to the cause, we like to say, connect them to the community connect them to something that they care about. So they had the choice, again, in what they wanted to learn and in what did they want to solve for. And um, we saw just so many benefits last year and we're really excited to see what happens and how it progresses in this upcoming school year. So this is just the agenda. So we are in the presentations range. We're about to have the sophomores present first and then the juniors will come um, the sophomore presentations are going to be a little more formal. The juniors, we kind of told them last week that they were going to present if they wanted to. So um, <laughs> they're actually in the middle of a diamond challenge, the University of Delaware Diamond Challenge, which is a social venture challenge. So on top of that, we have other groups that are working on their passion projects. So we call those Impact Philly projects as well. They chose something that they're passionate about and um, you'll see all the wonderful things that they came up with, and they'll share that with you at their small stations. You'll see both the sophomore groups. You won't see all of the junior groups formally present up here. They had the choice. Like we said, we kind of threw it on them. Hey, on top of that, on top of this design, thinking on this, can they present at Philly U? So some of them chose to, some of them would prefer you learning more information at their small stations. So we appreciate you kind of um, understanding that. And then, the evaluation, if you look at your evaluation sheet, just, we just want to make sure that that's clear. You'll see the Team MTV, and then on the back of that there's a Team MAV. 
Those are the two sophomore groups that will be formally presenting. So you'll see their evaluations are a little more in depth. And then the juniors who are presenting, we gave you spaces there. So you'll see junior small station evaluation. And if you just write the team name, they'll tell you their team name. And um, just what stood out to you, you would approve upon if you have any questions. And then when you get to their small station, you'll be able to see their tri and their small station presentations. If you have any comments, please feel free to share that with them. We are a work in progress. We are not perfect. We would love you to be kind with your feedback, but we also would love you to be honest. It's going to help us make our ideas and our solutions better. So, like we said, be kind, but definitely share your thoughts and, and share your honest feedback. We would appreciate that. Okay, so like we said, we're going to start with sophomore presentations, and then we'll move into a few of our junior presentations. Um, First up is Team MTV. They're super calm, not nervous at all. They're really, really uh, easy going right now. Um, so if you guys can come up and we'll get you all started here. Stress can lead to hair loss, heart disease, high blood pressure, chest pain, and irregular heartbeat. We visited a middle school, um, Memphis Street Academy, which is my middle school, and we created a survey that we needed feedback on with our stress kit. In the survey, it dealt with who was their favorite artist and why, and in stress in general. from our survey. So we found it interesting how many of them like to listen to music and headphones. Would be, they would want headphones inside of their stress kit. So we got the stress kit data and we took that and put it, like, put it together. The stress kit, it suits many personalities. It goes for teens, 10 to 14. You can be older and still be able to get a stress kit. And the owners will be able to design the stress kit themselves, so stickers and also other design design um, objects will be in the, the stress kit, so they're able to design it themselves. So we use the design making process, and here are the steps that we use to go through with this. So design thinking process, the design thinking process is better rather than any other problem, problem solving process because it requires feedback from other people rather than just us. And we found out the, the why and not the what. So basically, we, we're who we're making it for. We found out what they would want and we use empathy, which really helped us because we found out with, like how we can help them and not just what we thought would help them. It requires feedback, it like progresses through trials, and it also benefits them. The stress kit, um, one stress kit will be about lower than $10. So these are some things that we put in the stress kit and their total cost.
These are our prototypes. The first two pictures are of our newest prototype that we updated after we got the survey from Memphis Street Academy. And the bottom two are of our prototype that we first ever made when we were in the process of design thinking. And this is what will be inside our box. Stuff like stress balls and markers and pens and the books that will be therapeutic to help them with their problems. Um, here are a few ways we plan on advertising our antitrust kit. Uh, we're going to use flyers, websites, social media, and the GoFundMe we just recently set up. And our goal is to reach $600. Um, here are some of the partners we are partnering with. Uh, like Pfizer, Memphis Street Academy, Boys and Girls Club, and Philio. Um, these are some of our concerns, like such as what if we don't raise enough money, if we don't have enough material, and what if we put all of our work and energy into a stress kit that doesn't end up helping the kids. And these are some of our accomplishments as of today. We received 94 surveys from Memphis Student Academy, which helped us to be able to update our stress kids to their needs. And we also created a prototype that we can send to Memphis Student Academy and the Boys and Girls <coughs> Club to make sure that they will actually use everything that we incorporated in our stress kits. Thank you for believing in us and listening to everything that we have to say. We hope to see you at our triathlon team, which is set up right here. together. Our first group name was Heart of Mercy and my group name was MAV which is Mercy Against Violence. Um. So as you may not know, Amy Jordan Francis was a sophomore student at Howard High School of Te Technology in Wilmington, Delaware. In the school bathroom she had an altercation with three of her classmates where she where they didn't know that she had a heart condition which led to a cardiac arrest. This is such a significant story because it connects to our project very well. These three girls, we believe that if they had an outlet, a positive outlet in which they could express their feelings and emotions, they wouldn't have gotten into this altercation with this specific person. And both the three girls and the girl who had passed away, Amy Jordan Francis, they would both still be here today and be on their path to a successful life. Unfortunately, one person lost their life, but we hope to hear that the three girls recuperate and they start their path on a successful uh, way. And um, we just hope that they hear about our program and that they start to move forward and hopefully we can get some feedback from them too. Hello everyone, my name is James. And originally our target was for preteens, but we realized that teens would be a big help for preteens. So we found out that if we can get teens to mentor preteens and teach them that when they become teens, that it would help them stay away from the path of violence. So this can also help teens because some teens nowadays feel like no one listens to them or their opinion doesn't matter. So when the teens see these preteens listening to them and following in their footsteps, they will realize that their opinion does matter that people will listen to them. Hi, my name is Fountain, and I 
our solution to this issue is that we feel that we can help teens be better role models to the preteens, and then they could connect together with each other through a creative expression and basketball programs. <coughs> Unrelated, um, some related facts are um, during the hours of 3.30 and 6 o'clock p.m., teens tend to get into the most trouble, and we believe that they had an activity to participate in. This could limit the amount of trouble that they involve themselves with. Um, our justification is that it's a unique mentorship program for teens and um, preteens to connect with each other and build a relationship. And it's an outlet for the preteens and the teenagers. And then our mentors are ages 15 to 17, and our preteens are ages 10 to 12. So we used a five-step strategy called design thinking. Design thinking has five steps: amplifies, define, ideate, prototype, and test. The reason why this is better than any other design, like sync and prep. Thinking, thinking idea is because this allows you to get the idea, realize what you're doing and why you're doing it and who you're doing it for. It also allows you to see what it will look like and you get to test it before you even release it to anyone to use. Hello, my name is Chelsea. Um, for the design thinking process, we um, for Empathize, we connected with Pan and the Boys and Girls Club and Define. We came together to find out what we're going to focus on, and then ID8, we came together and focused on, uh, came up with our ID, and I um, prototype is where we are today to get your feedback and test. We're going to test that at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, our prototype is we're going to have a five-week program, which we will have a day for each week. Um, for the workshop, we're going to bring the teams, which is from our high school, Mercy Career and Technical High School. Um, and we're going to teach them how to be good mentors. And um, session one, we're going to bring the teen, pre, the teens and the preteens together, and like they're going to meet each other. And um, the session two to session five is we're going to do the activities, and then it will lead to our final showcase where they'll get awards and get to show their talents. And um, we're partnering up with Boys and Girls Club. Oh. Um, some concerns that we had were, one, we need to find the interest, we need to get teens to want to mentor these kids, and we need to get preteens to actually want to come and do this. We also need to find a place to do it. So the, the boy, we went to talk to the Boys and Girls Club, and they're letting us use their space for the activities and stuff. And we also need to raise money. We need to figure out a way to get the money to have and be able to do this stuff. Um, our um, program offers four activities. We have music, art, dancing, and basketball. Um, MLP is a nonprofit but this is, these are our financial projections. Um, we want to raise $1,265. And to the right of the slide, you will see all of the things that we need. Um, it goes into further depth when you go to our a trifold. But it's just, we took our most expensive program, which would be art, and we times that by the amount of kids that would be using it. And that was our highest program. And then everything that else that follows is just things that would that we would 